The Samburu Project was created to improve lives and help communities in Kenya become self-sustaining. Did you know that 4,500 children die each day worldwide due to the lack of clean, safe drinking water? This is a statistic that I am not willing to live with, and it's why the Samburu Project works each day to do its part to solve the world water crisis so that children and their communities don't have to suffer unnecessarily. The Samburu Project's goal is to provide clean, safe drinking water to the entire Samburu East community of Kenya, currently about 80,000 people. We want to create an even playing field for all the communities in this district. Then we can really get an idea of how a larger community can evolve and grow once the struggle for clean water is no longer an issue. The next logical step in the process is to work with communities to take their water resource and achieve further economic empowerment. With this, our secondary focus is to work with communities to enhance or create agricultural initiatives that are made much easier with a fresh water resource. Decades of receiving food aid created an unhealthy dependence on outside resources in the Samburu community. Our hope is to end this cycle and empower our communities by teaching people how to grow their own food and achieve self-sustenance. Beyond nourishing themselves, community members take excess produce to market and generate income for themselves. In Milimani, one of the communities we assist, they estimate they'll collectively earn $100,000 this year from the sale of goods from their farm. In the long term, we'd like to create a model for sustainable development, starting with the foundation of access to clean, safe drinking water. This model will be replicable in other communities throughout the world, either by the Samburu Project or other nonprofits or NGOs. In 10 years, this model will be realized. The Samburu Project is successful because we take a simple approach and engage the community at the grassroots level. We utilize basic technology that works in an indigenous community. There's nothing earth-shattering about shallow wells installed with hand pumps, but these wells transform lives and entire communities. Our approach is to keep our area of focus narrow so that we can best support the community on an ongoing basis, allowing for sustainability to be achieved. If we worked in tens of communities spreading our limited resources thin across the globe, it would be difficult to keep our support structure in place. Our narrow focus is what ultimately allows the Samburu Project to stay on point, developing community empowerment and sustainability. The Samburu Project is also successful because we're a one-stop shop. We raise funds and implement projects on the ground with community leaders. Having no middleman eliminates additional spending and potential communication breakdowns and allows us to maintain a close connection to the people on the grassroots level. So often in international development work, organizations raise money and pass it through to another organization to implement projects. At the Samburu Project, our process is streamlined, effective, and efficient. Until the work of the Samburu Project, Samburu East has never seen a comprehensive water resource project such as ours. The Samburu Project is effective because well communities are engaged from the beginning. We don't come to them, they come to us. If a community wants a well, they have to go through an application process. Once accepted, the community must work alongside our local project management team, our hydrogeologist and the drilling company, to successfully complete a well. They must bring sweat equity and materials to the table in order for well drilling to happen. Communities are also required to create water committees set up a community fund for security, maintenance, and repairs, and participate in ongoing hygiene, sanitation, and maintenance workshops. We also bring well communities together to collaborate and share learnings. We are committed to working with communities beyond well drilling so that they feel supported with their new water resource and aren't abandoned once the project has been implemented. We see well drilling as the beginning of our relationship, not the end.
Success is measured in a variety of ways, through community surveys and interviews, regular site visits, local government assessments, and outside evaluations. Indicators of effectiveness include water withdrawal per capita, reduction in distance walked to obtain safe water, the number of days sick per household, the number and causes of death, improved zero to five year old health, improved diet, increased household and community income generation, and school enrollment. Beyond scientific data and research, the most profound way of measuring success is sitting down with people in the communities we serve and giving them space to share their stories. Often we learn that we've helped to solve problems that we didn't even know existed. Listening is the most powerful tool we have. Often people assume that because of the large impact we've had that we are a big, substantially funded organization with a large staff. On the contrary, the Semburu Project is lean and mean. Until 2011, we were primarily a volunteer-based organization, with the exception of two employees. I was running the U.S.-based nonprofit, and Lucas Lequale managed our work in Kenya. In 2011, we realized that if we didn't build our capacity, we wouldn't survive the workload. Now we have a project coordinator who works alongside me in the U.S., and an accountant and well-maintenance engineer who work with Lucas in Kenya. With just over a million dollars in funding, the Samburu Project has drilled 40 wells, bringing clean, safe drinking water to over 40,000 people. With water, we've watched the number of girls attending school in our well communities triple. With water, we've seen many communities create preschools, laying a solid educational foundation for their young children. With water, we've seen the health of our well communities improve significantly. With water, communities have launched agricultural initiatives, allowing for self-sustenance and income generation. With water, 40,000 people's lives have changed for the better. Funding is our biggest challenge. The bulk of our funding comes from individual donors. In order to increase our donor base, we have to reach more people through special events, mailings, and social networking. With a limited staff, this is an ongoing challenge. Additionally, we have found it difficult to win large grants because of the size of our organization. Many foundations will not look at us because of our modest budget. My hope is that funders would consider the sheer number of people we've touched in a few short years instead of our budget. The Sambru project is a great investment in terms of dollars spent when compared to the number of people we have served. With additional resources, we'd slowly continue to grow our capacity so that we could continue expanding our projects. Additionally, we've been working for a year to fund a borehole or deep water well in a community in Samburu East called Lucen Gap. This is a place where due to the geology, a shallow well isn't viable. This community is engaged and ready to go. Our hydrogeologist has made three visits to Samburu for surveying and community development. I've been there twice and our team on the ground has been with them monthly. The community has enlisted parliament to share part of the cost through the constituency development fund. This well is different from the shallow wells we typically drill as it requires more equipment, including a windmill powered generator and eight kilometers of piping to move the water uphill. The project has been delayed because the estimated cost to drill is about a quarter of a million dollars. However, the well will provide water to about 6,000 people. We've received about 10% of the funding from a donor in the UK who is a friend of the Lucen Gap community. But we have not been successful at winning grants or finding an individual donor to fund this project to get it off the ground. The day we secure the money for this project will be a happy one for all involved. With more funding, we can continue our work of drilling wells to provide access to clean, safe drinking water. We can also further our work in our well communities by creating and or expanding agricultural initiatives. Supporting the necessary expansion of schools, working with women in the areas of income generation and empowerment, 
We know that what we do works and we would love the opportunity to do more of it. Would you consider partnering with us? Your donation not only improves lives, it transforms entire communities.